I'm the Highway Walker and today we're going to talk about one of my very favorite food items and that is cheese. I could put cheese on anything, everything. I just love, love, love it. I just could eat it every day for the rest of my life. But if trouble times come, you don't think of cheese as being a long-term food item that you could store. But today I'm going to show you that you can store hard blocks of cheese covered in cheese wax for up to 25 years. That's long-term food storage. Cheese wax will prevent the cheese from developing mold or bacteria and it keeps the moisture in. But this is a really cool way that if you love cheese like I do and you want long-term shelf life, this is what you need to know today. Now we're going to uh, wax some cheese. The idea of waxing the cheese is to make it uh, have a nice long shelf life. It doesn't need to be refrigerated, but you can. I've already melted some wax. Okay. Gonna get ready. Now I'm gonna cut this cheese. Now you have to have that in a double boiler, everybody, when you do the wax. So that's one thing. And then we're going to do these four blocks, and he is going to cut those. Right. This is the wax that we used, and you can look at some of the stuff on my website if you need to get more information. But you can get that pretty much anywhere. They've got comes in black and yellow and red. Okay. Now the wax, you want it hot enough, but you don't want it so hot that you're going to melt your cheese, too. I'm going to dip it, and we'll see what we come up with. There's a lot of holes in that. Right. Now That's... there's the first coat, and I'm going to let it harden up a little bit, and I'll do all four of these, and we'll just let them, I'll stick them in, and then we'll let them harden up a bit. Now you want to do four coats. All right. so these and are then you're supposed to have them. a paintbrush. Right, we have a paintbrush here that we can use. And I'm trying to get half of it done each dip. Now I'm going to start all over. Let's we'll see how. This is the one that you. How this is starting. I've already got where I can touch it and it's staying on. Cool. Look at that. We are getting it done. Not getting it down. Okay, I'll start at the top again and we'll go for another another uh, round here. Your hands and stuff. So you can see these little holes. We will have to touch them up if they don't end up covering up right. from dipping. Which I believe they will. Now we're going to plan on four coats, but if we need more, we will. Now they say you need four light coats, but you definitely want to do four, and then you want to make sure you check for holes because it's the oxygen that's going to nail you. It's, this wax will seal it in. Now we've done Colby and we've done mild cheddar and they say it will continue to age. So when we go to crack this open in say 10 years, this is gonna be pretty, um, probably sharp. It's gonna be sharp cheddar. You can see it's starting to really get dark, that red. This is pretty simple to do and easy to do. It's just a little messy, so you want to, you know, watch you move, that. You, as you do anything, it'll be easier and less messy. Yeah. yeah. But we're still in the learning process. Okay, now I'm looking for any small imperfections, and you can just paint a nice little coat on. It really looks cool. It's kind of like painting. You can actually paint it. And get your little edges and signs. And that looks nice. And we'll set that one over there to dry. Okay. We'll look on this one for any imperfections. That looks all pretty good there. It looks a little weak right there. We'll add a little See bit where of that coloring 
but it's covered. It's just you want to make sure. You went so through all this time and energy. Just make sure nice you've got everything color. covered. And then you want to store them in a cool, dark place or just put them in the refrigerator. One guy says he puts them in a fish next net and hangs them so they can breathe. And they'll store up to 25 years, which is just totally amazing. And the price of cheese these days, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's basically what you do to store cheese long-term shelf life.